Hi. All right. We're going to be working in section, oh, it's a little bit too big. So you'll notice uh, that I've, I'm using a whiteboard now, uh, well, so to speak, uh, an, a virtual whiteboard on, uh, on my laptop. So we're going to be trying this out for doing these lessons from here on out, at least for these subderivations. So uh, some patience is going to be uh, greatly appreciated on, on, on your part. So this is going to be section 5.1, and what we're introducing is uh, we're going to be using a system that we call uh, SD, and this is going to be a derivation system. And basically what a derivation system allows us to do is to build proofs starting from certain assumptions that we might make. So yes, yeah, so it's a derivation There we go, that's working a little better now. So it's a derivation system. So the idea here is we're going to have some assumptions that we're going to make. So I'm going to have, I'm drawing this line right here. This is called uh, the main scope line. So this will be the what's called the main scope. line. And we might start out with some assumptions. So we might have, you know, any sentence of SL. So remember this boldface P here that I'm drawing, this is going to be, uh, this is a meta variable, right? So any, you're going to fill this in with any sentence of SL, where SL was our language for the symbolic logic. So then I might have another assumption Q, and these are going to be my primary assumptions. So let me maybe put that around here like this. These are going to be our primary assumptions. Man, this pen is just not always working for me. There we go, primary assumptions. And then, at the very end, we might have some other sentence called R. And this, you can think about uh, the thing that to be derived. Uh, so that is what is derived. What is derived? So that's the last line, and the whole thing we call the derivation. So this is going to be our derivation. And when we, the way we get from the primary assumptions to what is derived are going to be certain rules of SD. Uh, and the important part of these rules is that they're going to be truth-preserving rules. And everything that's going to be following, uh, let me do this, oh come on, there we go, truth preserving. So if you recall the way we talked about validity at the beginning, preserving. rules. At the beginning we talked about how our notion of validity uh, is truth preserving. That means if you if the premises end up being true then the conclusion will be true as well. But if you give it a bunch of garbage, right, a bunch of falsehoods, well it'll re return falsehoods uh, as well. The important part about validity is that if you start with something that's true, it will never give you something false. So that's what we mean by truth preserving, right? If you give it truth, if you give it true premises, it will actually preserve the truth of those. So the rules that we're going to be using, the introduction and the elimination rules, they're going to be truth preserving. And so very briefly, let me just introduce you to one that we call 
uh, reiteration. So let me just quickly erase some of this stuff. And I'll have to find a faster way to erase things. All right. So let's just start with, we'll do this. This will be pretty quick. The very first rule you're going to get introduced to is called reiteration. And all that reiteration basically says is that if you start out with, if you have at some point derived, or if you start out with an assumption, P, so any sentence, you can just reiterate it at some other point in the derivation. And this little arrow here just says what is derived. So here's what you need to have, uh, here's what we find to be the case. And the rule of reiteration says, okay, we can use P. So, and this is really intuitive, right? If somebody establishes a truth like, you know, John's at the party, later on you can say, hey, John's at the party. You can reuse it. And that's all that reiteration does. Okay, so what follows the next few lessons? We're going to be using different kinds of what are called introduction rules. So intro, oh, come on. Intro rules, and we're also going to be having elimination rules as well. And they're going to be applied for all of our connectives like and, the conditional, we're going to have negation, we have the biconditional, and we're also going to have disjunction. So we're going to have rule introduction rules for all of these, and we're going to have elimination rules for all of these. And that'll become clear as we go on in these video lessons. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments or you can send me an email.